my inimitable friends. Today I am excited to show you the reveal of the basement bathroom. Um, on the previous video there was a lot of talk about light bulbs, lumens, kelvins, um, what makes for some great color from the light bulbs. Check out that video um, for more information. At the very end you'll catch some sneak peeks of this basement bathroom that I am about to reveal. Um, the problem that this room had was that it's located in the basement. There are no windows. Um, it's a basement bathroom. Kind of goes without saying no windows. Um, and it was painted a really lovely uh, shade of white. It was Sherwin-Williams Simply White. Typically that color is really um, bright and cheery. It's got kind of a slight cream to it. Um, it's a really great um, all-purpose white. However, because this room has no windows, there was no light that was able to bounce off of it and reflect off of it, um, giving it a really dirty, dingy appearance. Um, so to remedy that, I did two things. One, switched out the light bulbs, see previously mentioned video, and two, changed the paint from a white to a darker color. Now, normally when you're in a small room, people always say, you know, paint it a lighter, brighter color. It'll make it feel bigger. Dark will make it feel really small um, and cave-like. Um, and that can be true, but in the case of this bathroom, again, because it's so small, it's five by eight, and that there are no windows, the lack of light was actually causing the white to appear more dingy than it was. So by going a dark color, the light instead of trying to reflect off of it and um, grabbing that dinginess, um, it's actually being absorbed back into the wall, giving the walls an appearance of kind of receding. It actually feels bigger. Um, so that was those are the two main things. And then uh, kind of as a bonus, because you can get a little sneak peek behind my head there, um, I did some wallpaper. So let's spin the old camera around and take a tour. All right, so we are standing in the doorway of the bathroom. Sometimes bathrooms can be a little bit difficult to capture, so we'll do our best. Um, so as you'll notice, the lower level of the room now has board and batten. It was just simple DIY um, using one by one, or one by, yeah, one by one, one by two, um, and one by four MDF boards, and then painted Sherwin-Williams web gray. Um, and this is that nice, you know, dark color that is absorbing the light and making the walls appear to recede. And then on the top of the wall, there are, this is a peel and stick wallpaper. I've never used this before. Um, kind of like regular wallpaper, there's a little bit of a learning curve. Some some things that I'd known how to do a little bit different. Um, but otherwise, I actually really like the product. You could peel it off, replace it, move it around um, as much as it needed to to make it um, straight and even. Another change that I made to this room, um, before the shower curtain hung at a standard, what is it, 72 inches I want to say, um, and I replaced it with a 96 inch um, curtain. What that does is draw the eye upwards and instead of cutting it off about there, it brings your, again, eye all the way up. And then I also painted the ceiling a really light shade of pink um, with the hopes that any light that's being bounced will um, be kind of more of a warm light versus um, just a cold sterile light. So I will try to zoom into the shower here without making you dizzy and give you a view from the other side. Um, other than the board and batten paint and wallpaper, everything else was um, either existing in the room or in the home. So the pictures in the frames are family photos, um, family members, um, this is a, a basement bathroom, so it's actually part of a kind of sporty um, lower level rec room. I'll shut that so that we can get a full view here. Um, so the football is a nice theme without being too themey. And the black and white ties into all of the colors of gray in the room. Otherwise, I mean, we've got the same little candle, the same soap dispenser, and the same plant from actually from Ikea and we'll give you one last pan here and I am really really happy with the way this room turned out hopefully you enjoy it if you have any questions uh, leave comments below thanks have a great day